guys, what's up, what's up, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Alright guys, for those who buy the BJ, you don't know, so there's a free farm drill update. And I'm like, and I'm not sure how long I've been growing my dreadlocks for guys, over time I end up lose count, but it's been a while. It's definitely over four years guys, over four years, almost four and a half years. It's like four years and four months, or four years and five months of this. Right now I'm letting my dreadlocks thicken up. It's going through the thickening phases of the lock journey, guys. Right now the pump of them are getting bigger in at the top of the thing. It's been a while, guys. Welcome to the new viewers. Welcome back to my OGs. This is a free farm drill update by the beach. My two on, my kind of fair talk loud, guys, because I battle with the noise from the waves. So bear with me and stay tuned and also the sun in my eye too there's a whole heap of battles I fight this morning just for that video of food but yeah guys as you know the usual I'm gonna give you a little 360 make you see the back of the gear I'm gonna talk to you about a little dreadlocks box you know I always drop a few gems and have a dreadlocks update them and all of that so yeah stay tuned guys stay tuned So this is how I'll be doing my free farm build up days going forward. I'm going to be doing them in nature, whether by the river or by the beach or by the lakes, by the pond, you know. I'm a nature loving person. Um, yeah, my nature love nature means like a black hippie, you know. Tree loving, nature loving person growing along here. Nature is just my thing. I get to me ask my beliefs that humans were designed for nature. That is my strongest belief. And that is the main reason why I grow free farm dreadlocks. To reflect nature. You know? Wild and chaotic. Nature don't really have an art about here, but somehow nature manifests as beautiful and organized. Nature don't have a specific art in a guy. Nature goes off a divine art and growing free farm dreadlocks help you to remind. You know, help you remind you of nature and actually help you to realize that you reflect nature, you know? Because when I look at the free farm dreadlocks in them, kind of resemble the tree branches and all of them type of things, the tree limbs them. Um, yogic culture, I've seen the human body as the inverted tree. Yogic culture, I've seen the human body as the inverted tree. Meaning that these are our roots, you know? So our dreadlocks connect us to, our, to the roots of us, the, our culture, our divine lineage and them type of things. You get to me and say, most times, yeah, when I see people with dreadlocks, especially in Jamaica, you know, there are known to be people who have strong connection to them history and them roots and them type of things. So, dreadlocks really and truly represent your roots. It um, connects to your past and your ancestors, it literally connects you to the unseen side of life, you know. So, your ancestral knowledge, your divine realm that you you know, you, you, you um, originated from dreadlocks and will connect to the unseen sides of life, the unseen realms of the universe. You get it? So once you're a spiritual being, once you're a psychic, you're going to need hair, hair overall. You don't necessarily need dreadlocks, you know, but you need hair for your head. So even if you're a loose natural person with just a growth of natural hair, you still can have divine knowledge and psychic abilities the same way. You know, and still connect to your psychic abilities. But the more, the more stressful your journey is as a psychic person, or the more, the higher dimensions that you actually come from, 
and I exist in a 3D, you're gonna need longer dreadlocks. So you're gonna, your dreadlocks, they're gonna, you know, the more important the journey, the more, I don't know how to put this, but the more stressful and the more important the journey is, is the more you're gonna require dreadlocks. And so the type of dreadlocks you're gonna require to vary. You know, not everybody's gonna, not everybody's journey is gonna require them to have free farm dreadlocks. But most shamans, most psychics, most alchemists, their journeys are going to require them to carry dreadlocks. You get me answer because most of the journey of shamanic people are, is very stressful. The journey of shamanic beings are, is very stressful most of the time. The journey of psychic beings is, more, is, is, is very stressful most of the time, you know? So, you need dreadlocks to help you navigate them type of journeys in your life, or else you're not going to know which direction to take. And they are going to end up taking direction from, you know, the average people, eh, man. Psychic people are not the average people. We deal with divine guidance. We actually get the guidance straight from the divine realm. So, in order for you to get proper guidance, you have to grow your dreadlocks to connect you to the divine realm. You get to me, I say to you, earthly, earthly directions don't really drive you in the right place. If we as psychic people follow earthly directions, we're going to crash. We're going to crash with people and, you know, to fuckery. We have to stay connected to a divine purpose and here help to connect it to a divine purpose. As a psychic being, as a shamanic being. Guys, it's sudden on my eyes, so just bear with me, big up. I think that is the end of the update. I'm going to give you one more 360. So hope you enjoyed this video. Welcome, welcome to all the viewers. Welcome back to the OGs. Give me a like, comment, and a share if you're new. Uh, if you're returning, welcome back. Like, comment, and share also. Big up. One more 360, guys.